Jupyter Notebook 7 is here and in this video I will cover the installation process and some of the fantastic features that I know that you will love. But listen carefully, because some of the extensions that work in the previous versions won't work in Notebook 7. And for that reason, if you rely on some of the extensions, it is crucial to verify its compatibility with Notebook 7. Alright, and what about the new features that you mentioned, you may ask? Well, if you ever wished for a dark theme, your wish have been granted, Jeez, because true? Notebook 7 brings the dark theme option, which will contribute to a better coding experience. Alright, but before mentioning more new features, let's dive into the installation process and then I will show you the best ones. Alright, so the first thing that we are going to do is to run pip install notebook in your command line. And then you wait for the installation to be completed. And once it is completed, you can check in here the version that was installed. The latest version when I'm recording this video is 7.0.2. You can also verify the version that was installed by running the command Jupyter Notebook version. And it should print the version that is currently installed. And now, all you need to do to open Notebook 7 is to run the command Jupyter Notebook. By doing this, a new tab in the web browser will be open. You can already see that the web UI is a little bit different. And to show you the latest features, let's open up this notebook from the Titanic Machine Learning project. As you can see, this web UI also looks different. And look at here, the debugger button. We'll be looking into this in a couple of seconds. Now let's look into one of the coolest features, which is the table of contents that you can find in the view tab. It will open up this menu with all the addings that you added with the markdown and you can use it to navigate between the headings of your notebook. It is a pretty cool built-in feature of Notebook 7. You can even enumerate and collapse or expand the headings. And if you ever wanted to debug code in Jupyter Notebook, now you can. In the view dropdown, you can find the debugger panel, which will be appear in the right side. And here you have the debugger button, which you need to activate every time you want to debug and use breakpoints. That is cool. Let's put a breakpoint here and run this code. You will see the information that will be visible in the right side. This way you can now set breakpoints and inspect your variables to easily understand better what is going on with your code in the given situation. As soon as you are done, just disable the debugger button and close the debugger panel. All right, let's face this. If patients were money, we'd be already billionaires for waiting for this. That's right, the dark team is finally available in Jupyter Notebook. To enable it, just go to Settings, Team and Jupyter Lab Dark. Do it and your eyes will be very thankful for that. Another cool thing is that you can do it for the scroll bar too. Moving on to the next cool feature that you have in Notebook 7, the Jupyter Real-Time Collaboration. For that we need to install an extension that is not pre-installed. So let's open the command line again and close the Jupyter Notebook. Then write the command pip install Jupyter collaboration. You can verify if it was correctly installed and then open up again the Jupyter Notebook. Here in view you can verify in the extension manager that the Jupyter collaboration extension is installed. Let's open up the notebook again and in the top right corner you can see there is a user and an icon to share. Pressing that one and then share the link with the token. If we open up a new browser, we can see that we have access to the notebook. Of course, you need to have access to the server where the notebook is running, in this case, the localhost. And now, as you can see, if you add cells or write in one of the sites, the same will be displayed in the other side in real time. And this is pretty cool to work with teams in the same notebook. So you can schedule a call and both people can work on the same notebook at the same time. Debugging at the same time and you don't need to be in the same place to do it. Now you can also go to view and then left sidebar and you can open the collaboration tab to see who is in this notebook. Be careful with who you share this URL because they will have access to all the files in the server, not just this notebook. Well, thank you for watching and smash the like button if you enjoyed this video. I hope to see you around. Peace. Bye.